From the dawn of the first millennium and for at least three centuries, from all over Asia and even Central Africa, in small groups of a few dozen people, women and men headed north in the cities of Chang'an and Luoyang in the central plains of the northeast. From there, they would continue to the Pacific coast. Before that, they had to survive the many dangers of the plains of Central Asia. The lucky ones had to sail by the southern sea routes. Then they crossed for many weeks the deserted valleys, forests, and mountains of the southeastern kingdoms, recently conquered and totally destroyed by the Hans and other tribes from the northern mountains. All of these black people knew that the Silk Roads must be avoided at all costs. Those are the ways through which all the material and cultural riches of the black kingdoms massacred by the Hans and their allies were rooted and traded. Cutthroat places, these caravan routes were under the control of the Han armies. Only scientists and other scholars were spared. They were sent to forced labor in huge transcription and translation centers of African scientific Buddhism, where they worked until death. These refugees had abandoned everything, but they still had a strong hope for their children and a dream for themselves. Kadara, Kadara, the only kingdom capable of resisting the Han, the only country where the spirituality of life, the high ancestral sciences of Africa, could once again flourish. Located both on the mainland, in the Kadara Peninsula, and on the Yamato Archipelago, the kingdom was founded at the beginning of the present era. It united indigenous populations of black and white races. They would welcome more and more fugitives who would forever change their destiny. Rich with a productive and effective civilization, they mastered and shared technical knowledge and know-how never seen in the region. This cultural and political combination, unique in history, would favor the birth and construction at very high speed of the Kadara nation. It became, in less than 300 years, the spiritual light, the cultural and scientific lighthouse, the maritime commercial powerhouse of the whole continent. Kadara remains the most brilliant civilization in Asian history, with no rival possible. The genocide of Kadara people, guiding nation of Asia and ancestors of the Japanese by the Chinese in alliance with the South Koreans through their Shila ancestors, followed by the total and unmotivated destruction of the historic Middle Kingdom, and lastly its deletion from official history, are the sole and only reasons for all 21st century serious conflicts in the Korean Peninsula between China, Japan, South, and North Korea. For fear of failure, any sincere diplomatic action between Japan, China, and the two Koreas must include these dramatic events in the program of negotiations. Since 2014, Pekcha's principle, the great secret of Asia, has been an essential resource for conclusive diplomatic talks because this theory is the only historical, rational, and operative law that explains Asian history and helps build a more stable and prosperous future. Read and offer Pekcha's principle, The Great Secret of Asia, the book that prevents China President Xi Jinping from sleeping.